Yes. Now we will discuss about the side determination and anatomical position of the hip bone. Here. Here you can see these are two hip bones. First of all, we will discuss about the side determination. Here you have seen in previous lectures. This is acetabulum. And this part is expanded part which lies above the acetabulum. This is ilium. This is iliac crest. And below this acetabulum, this is obturator foramen. So remember three things. One is acetabulum. Direction of the acetabulum, it is directed laterally. So keep it here. This is lateral direction. This is lateral direction. This is acetabulum. This is laterally directed. And above to this acetabulum, the large flank, this is ilium. Here is iliac crest. And below to this acetabulum, there is foramen. This is obturator foramen. And another important thing, anterior to this obturator foramen, there is pubis, this is pubic bone. And posteriorly, there is large ischial tuberosity, ischium. So, keeping in mind three things, acetabulum, iliac crest, and obturator foramen, here. This bone is the right hip bone. If you see under bone, here. This is this is obturator foramen, iliac crest, this is, sorry, uh, this is uh, acetabulum, this is acetabulum, this is iliac crest, and this is obturator foramen. So, this bone is left hip bone. And the important thing, anatomical position. What is anatomical position? So, if you articulate these two bone, it is like this. So, this is pubic symphysis. Here is pubic symphysis. Here, this is medial surface of the pubis. So, here lies pubic symphysis. So, this anterior superior iliac spine, and here you can see pubis pubic symphysis this lies in same coronal plane so this is coronal plane so it lies in the same coronal plane like this this is coronal plane it lies in the same coronal plane anterior superior iliac spine and pubic symphysis one thing and another thing this pubic bone this is pelvic surface or inner surface direction of the inner surface of the pubis bone it is directed upward and backward. So if you see here, it is like this. Direction is slightly upward and backward. Second thing. And third thing, this symphysial surface, this symphysial surface lies in medial median plane. So keeping three things in mind, you can keep it in anatomical position. First thing, anterior superior iliac spine and pubic symphysis lies in the same coronal plane. Another thing, this pelvic surface of the pubis is directed backward and upward. Its direction is backward and upward, backward and upward. And this is symphysial surface or medial surface that is directed towards the median plane are directed in the median plane. So this is anatomical position. So in next lecture we will discuss about the attachments on the hip bone. Thank you.